record. All right, I'm gonna share this. I gotta get your water. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you want, you can run on the treadmill if you want. <laughs> I could paint you while you're running on the treadmill. Uh, they can't. Uh, no, we uh, truly. Truly. Someone's saying truly. A whole bunch of people there's are here. A, Look at all vegan, these people. There's a vegan restaurant called Truly in LA. Okay. I'm so excited to go to because yeah. it's become one of my memes to say truly a lot. Truly, yes. Well, truly. You, you should say truly because that, that is good. <laughs> it's good stuff. It's like completely. It's truly. <laughs> so like, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll get you some water. Oh, I know. I need to post uh, again on uh, Twitter. I'll do the the. Uh, do you have like you have a fan page too on? I the Facebook is weird because you got your name. I got my name, and then I got the fan club page, and uh -huh. and then they recently did something where only ten percent of your posts on the fan club page uh, only show up because oh, they yeah. want you to pay you money. They want you to pay money. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. Whatever. I I don't care. I mean, just keep going. Just keep, <laughs> Truly, keep going. Keep going, and uh, let's see. I got to sign in. <laughs> uh, crap. Okay. Okay, we're get, we're just kind of a little late here. I got to get them water, and then we'll get started here. I mean, we are, we already are started, aren't we? <laughs> I mean, this is it. This is it. Right? Uh, is this? I, I'm reading. This is sort of your, the last of your trip, of of going around the world, kind of thing. Uh, is that sort of the well, idea? this whole year I've been traveling, like, yeah. and staying like a week or so in I each know. place. Yeah. And that's been kind of extreme. I'm like, it's been really good, but it's like I'm ready for it to be done with. Right? Yeah, yeah, I saw so, that. I saw that. Let so, me get you yeah. some water. i got to get some water, too. Here. Nice. Maybe I'll get a little coffee, too. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for watching. This truly is two generations of gods. Thank you, Sean Gannon. Ah! Boost! Bopsed! Uh. Look at my elbow holes. Ah! 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 I love the menu. Do you want to be on camera? Um. <laughs> yeah. I just met Lizette from the internet. There you go. Oh, she drove me so here. Much. All right, and then uh, I'll get some. Lizette Hernandez from the internet. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You got cool. it. Truly. <laughs> Truly. This is awesome. I feel like people live in there. In like the skull. I thought you meant in the internet. <laughs> that too, as well. Guys, I'm not usually up this early. I'm, it's 11 a.m. here. Yeah, it's a little rough, I know. I know. <laughs> I, I'm not usually up till noon. I'll I woke up I, uh, an hour I, and a half ago. Too. I've been doing this uh, just because I kind of, most of the time I end up waking up and doing it like right now. I'm not really oh, yeah. a morning person either. But I did it, did it because of... Uh, uh, I had to move on with the rest of my life and, and you know, paint and do other stuff. So yeah. if I do it later in the day, then, then what do I do the beginning of the day? I, I'd be like kind of getting ready. Oh, yeah. It's better for me to just wake up and do the show and then do something else with the rest of the day. Yeah. Because, I, see that. I don't know. No, that's a good idea. Well, but I, I'm kind of thinking about just coming back to just doing the show once a week or, or just not doing the show. As the internet thing? show. The internet show. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this was tag cooking and exercise and paint. Yes, uh, it it was or it is, but we don't necessarily uh, <laughs> we don't do too much. Uh, well, we don't always run and paint. We we get lazy. But where should I set the water? Oh. I'm not drinking. Oh, okay. So you want to sit over there, or you don't have to. I mean, you sure. want to keep standing? You can. Uh, we could stand. Standing's good. Yeah. Standing's good. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I agree. I've been really excited about, like, I was thinking about it when I was watching YouTube videos of you, like, running and stuff. Yeah. I feel like when you have that, like, physical yeah. activity, it really, yeah. like, pumps up, like, your mental activity. Yes, too, it usually. does. It totally does. It totally does. So that's interesting. Uh, yeah, because it, 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 uh, it joggles, it boggles the brain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and whereas if you're sitting down, you're just more likely to, to get in your cocoon and, and not do anything. 
and, uh -huh. and just kind of chill and go. Try to be thoughtful and all, but you're too slow on the move. You know, uh -huh. your, your energy is, is not there as much. So, truly. Do you want to try running on a treadmill? Or yeah, it would be an honor. Okay. This is a legendary me, treadmill. I let, feel it's so paint splatter. It's a little effed up, I must say. Uh, and we can put this off to the side. Okay. This is your legendary that's, that's jacket. That's my jacket. <laughs> my jacket. Uh, I, I might as well put it on. Nice. Uh, and uh, let's see. Uh, let's just turn this thing on here. Let's, let's see. We'll go, we'll go slow. Yeah. And uh, is it uh, making any? Yeah. Okay. And then uh, it's hard to tell <laughs> oh, the <button>. how it works. <laughs> but uh, yeah, here's the button. There's a few buttons here. It's okay. It's starting. And then this is your up and down. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. But. Yeah. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, so uh, there, there's uh, Steve here. By the way, guys, if you want to call in, if you want to call into the program, you can. It's 818-528-4516 if you have questions for Steve or uh, myself, Mr. Let's Paint. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and paint Steve uh, on, on, the, on the treadmill, uh, and we're going to ask questions uh, um, somewhere along the line. Yeah, yeah. Or, or, or not ask questions. <laughs> we'll just chat and compare notes. Yeah. I feel like we're comparing notes. Yeah. A little bit. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice. Uh, doing this and that. Okay, so let me set up my easel here. And I, okay, we got our first call of the day here on Let's Paint TV. Hello, caller. You're on. Yeah, take down, turn down your radio. Turn down your radio. <laughs> there you go. Do you have a question for uh, us? Uh, no, just a statement. Okay, state state yourself. Uh, state your name, your age, and uh, where, where uh, what uh, religious uh, denomination you come from. I don't know. Go ASL. for it. Go for it. Okay, my name is Adam Brobjorg. Uh, I'm almost 20 years old, and I come from uh, the religious affiliation of uh, there is only one of us. Here. All right. Well, I was just kidding. I was just kidding about that. Just get to your statement. <laughs> we, we don't need to know all that. <laughs> uh, okay. I just wanted to say right here on uh, the little video chat thing on the top little right video box. And, uh, oh, okay. It's all you seeing me waving. I oh, oh I, we're not looking uh, because the Skype screen is way overboard. There you go. Okay, Adam. Good to see you, Adam. Hey, all, all right. right. Hey, look at that interaction. We love that. I love that interaction. So much love, so much love. All right. All right, all right. Talk to you later. All right, well, uh, thanks for calling in. And uh, if you guys want to give us a call, you can, uh, as Adam did, 818-528-4516. We got, we got Steve uh, Rogenbach. Beck. Beck. <laughs> Rogenbach. Buck. Buck, okay. Rogenbach. And, uh, and, uh, and if you don't know who he is, uh, well, then you guys uh, are missing out on uh, a very interesting character. Uh, I and, love you, Steve. I love you. All right, <laughs> hey, hey, well, you still, hey, hang up, buddy, hang up. No, 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 stay on the phone if you want. I don't care. <laughs> I got pain on me already. Okay, so uh, here we go. Can you guys see? Can we see uh, everything on the shot here? Let's see. And we are recording, which is good. That's a good thing. You don't see Steve very well, so let's. Uh, you paint me uh, with in in a container of French fries. Oh, okay. There you or go. A basket of. Like curly fries? Uh, yes. Yes, we could do that. <laughs> Probably in the... With like the treadmill container. or something? I was just going to skip the whole fast food idea. Oh, okay. And just paint you on the treadmill. Well, that works, too. Yeah, I think that, you know, just kind of move on. Okay, yeah. I'm already kind of wanting to move on from the whole... Uh, oh, yeah? Well, just a little bit, because I'm, I'm going to be doing a, a big event this Sunday. Oh, there's a better shot there. This Sunday, guys, uh, by the way, I'll be making... The fast food painting truck will be on Mulholland Drive. Just an update, and we're going to be selling burgers and fries and shakes, paintings of burgers and fries and shakes. Uh, we haven't decided how much, but I think we're thinking $20. Okay. I thought so, you were saying they were going to actually be the price. Well, of, like, it is. Like, I know. I, that's the idea, but I don't want to have to deal with the change. Oh, yeah. You know, people are going to give me three fifty nine. Uh, it's like, no. <laughs> so just give me a 20 but but that is the idea. No, that is truly the idea. 
That 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 is supposed to be the idea, but uh, I kind of <laughs> chicken. Yeah, you have a dollar menu. If, yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't make much, but it would. Be no, it, hey, <laughs> but the yeah, thing man. is, you know, when you go into a fast food restaurant or, or a ninety-nine cent store, what happens? You end up spending twenty dollars anyway, right? Okay. So, so it's all a scam anyway. They really end up just getting twenty dollars out of you. Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, Again, uh, call us here. Uh, again, we have a special guest uh, on the room, uh, in the room, here at the studios here, at, at, in Los Angeles, lovely Los Angeles, California. Ah, okay. It's about, <laughs> I'm already out. Yeah, you know, this is always the case. You, seeing someone on a treadmill, it looks like, it seems like, as if you're out of one's out of breath just watching somebody. Oh, yeah. I've heard that many times, <laughs> and I'm experiencing it now. <laughs> I feel like I want to go faster. I'm well, you, you could, but we don't. We want to be careful at the same time. Let's take another call here. Okay. H hello, caller. You're on. You're on fast food. Uh, Let's pay TV. Hello. Hi. Um. My, my name is Dan. I'm actually watching the show right now. Um, how's it going? Uh, it's doing. It's doing fantastic. <laughs> good. Good. Um. So this is my first time watching the program. Um. For those of us who like don't know what the whole like fast food TV is about, like what is it about? Like what's your story? Well, uh, it's uh, fast food paintings are, are paintings of fast food at fast food prices, and uh, it is a uh, subsidiary of Let's Paint TV, uh, which uh, if you look that up, you might uh, Google Let's Paint TV. Uh, you'll find out more about uh, the uh, the the beauty, the excitement of multitasking and doing multiple things all at once. <laughs> okay, that's amazing. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. So, uh, and uh, at the moment, we got Steve on the treadmill. We're trying to, we should hook you up to some, like, uh, uh, various uh, electronic probes to see how your, your <laughs> you brain should, is. You like, um, your heart rate. You should, uh, like, yeah, like, you should have those, like, balls on me when people record, like, uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> when, people re when people are recorded their motions for a video game, yeah. you know? Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, we got the green screen. We could kind of maybe do that somehow. Somebody was asking me it's last some tennis night balls. We need some I tennis do... balls on you. <laughs> I got some. I got some do dog tennis balls. You know, shoot <laughs> dog, up dog. Yeah. Dog tennis balls. Good. <laughs> this almost looks like an octopus. The drawing of me so far that I see. Shocking. Here. Well, just 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 you know, put that on you somewhere. <laughs> I accidentally stole a tennis ball from someplace. Yeah. See if that really works. Cute. That might it work. Says, it says. Oh, this is the same brand that I accidentally stole earlier this year. Well, that's a good brand. It's a it good says, brand. Chuck it. Chuck it. Chuck it. <laughs> Chuck it. Yeah. Uh, I was playing. I actually stole a tennis ball from a dog uh, animal hospital accidentally. Oh wow! And uh, was that I was just playing with it? Was that on? Uh, was it. that one of the uh, part of the your year long trek? Yeah, through this was, lovely uh, country of ours? Yeah, that was in uh, New Jersey. Have you ventured like uh, a north of the border or uh, south? Or, yeah, uh, I went to uh, Toronto and Montreal. Toronto. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, that's, yeah Toronto's great. great, and I like Montreal too. I, I haven't been there since I was a Boy Scout. Oh yeah. Yeah, a long time. <laughs> Montreal was great. Yeah, I, I, I like that. I like how they speak French, you know? Oh yeah, it's everywhere. Uh, okay, so, hello? We got a call? Oh, you're still there. You're still there. Still ha ha hanging, hanging tough, man. Hanging tough with us. Fantastic. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for thanks for watching and uh, and stay tuned for uh, some excitement here uh, uh, in the in the next few moments. Yeah, we're gonna blow up uh, the uh, the world right now. No, no, no. Just kidding. Yeah. I, I, I don't really want to see that happen or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you're you're like the one video is the first thing I saw from you. Probably the first thing most people see. Yeah. There's a video with that has like half a million views on YouTube. Right. Right. That's the one. Uh, and so like, how did that happen? Like, did that happen like all at once? Was it like a sort of like a thing where it blew up? Right, where is it? Like, yeah. Why did that? Yeah. Why is that video like the one that everyone sees and it's. It's it's a combination of it's the psychedelic image of the <laughs> blue like, of the weird up. shit on the background, yeah. <laughs> and that was just like you know, like if you believe in God or or, or uh, uh, by chance and whatever, you know, like destiny. It's just you know, not that there was anything great about having a video that has you know half a million views, but 
it's just that that shot had it was an interesting shot and that just happened to be halfway in the video because that's how they get uh, they used to make uh, get pictures from your videos when you upload them oh. it's it's it, they found out that it was basically exactly halfway point of oh, your yeah. video is where they get the shot now I think you can you know now you can uh, add different you can add your own I don't bother screw it it's just too much yeah. there's too much stuff you got to do yeah so but by chance that was the case and it's also just pretty interesting video because there's people calling in telling me to fuck off and you know I want to <laughs> yeah. suck your dick and you know yeah. and gangbangers yeah it's just pretty <laughs> it's loaded it's loaded but what happened was is that so I uploaded it and then within uh, a few months or so that uh, boing boing oh. website okay. boing boing yeah. Or Bing Bing or Yeah, I yeah. used to say Boing Boing all the time oh, as a joke. I, oh, and then it, I realized because I'd wrong. always search it and it was always this it was this big website. Yeah, but it's yeah. not it's not for I'm not pronouncing it right or am I? Oh boing, boing I don't know. Okay, well anyway they posted it on there and then and then that then it sort of took off from there and then like uh, other people will put post it too, like uh, Crack Magazine. Okay. They would they 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 listed it as, you know, top 10 uh, wackiest uh, cable <laughs> access shows ever, you know? Yeah. So so that's how it gets out there. Uh, but I mean, you know, uh, and then, you know, all the other stuff I do, you know, no one really watches, and it's probably deservedly so, uh, but, uh, you know, at times. Sometimes it's good. Yeah, that popcorn clip, I was amazed by. Yeah, I did that recently. That was oh, yeah? probably one of the more recent pieces I've done, yeah. Nice, yeah. Uh, but it's hard, you know, I do this show every day, Monday through Friday, so it's kind of hard to keep that, the, you know, keep cooking something new and, <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah, it's just hard to do it all. So I just kind of trudge away and I have good days and bad days. I yeah. think I think today's a good day, guys. Nice. Well, well, we know when you have a guest come in, it's good. I yeah, think it, I found that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because you can bounce off each other a, a little bit. True. Yeah. So, so your 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 uh, hometown is in Michigan, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and, it's uh, like rural Michigan. My dad's a farmer. Oh, nice. Yeah. And uh, uh, well, how does I, I just curious? I just uh, just going on the uh, the role here. How does your dad? Is your dad a supportive of your uh, uh, lifestyle? Your your life? Kinda. My yeah, dad good. like my dad doesn't really. My dad sort of just seeds to me that I know more about it than him. Yeah. Like. He said once, I don't know, I I don't know what is possible in this internet age in which we live. Right, right, right. So he's like, like, yeah, he's like passing it, passing the buck to you yeah, to, kinda, to let you figure it out. Yeah, because he's like, he he's would, like, let me just get back to farming here. I guess he's maybe like kind of amazed that I can do as much as I can. Yeah. Um, but he doesn't deny that it's possible. No, yeah. My mom was a little bit less supportive at first, but right, she's. We sort of had so many arguments about what I should do with my life that it uh, got old. Yeah. And I feel like now she just accepts it. Yeah. And also she's seeing more of my success now. So. Right. Yeah. I think that quickly, uh, any t any reservations that maybe a parent might have of, of their uh, offspring doing something kind of in the creative field, uh, uh, any reservations uh, will dis dissipate when there's some sort of, uh, you know, uh, recognition of what, what you're doing uh, yeah. is appreciated. Uh, then they're like, oh, I guess uh, we have the artistic son, you know. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, just uh, let's see. Do we get a good shot of this painting? Let's take a look here. Any other questions here for uh, Steve Rogenbach? Beck. Buck. <laughs> Buck. 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 <laughs> Buck Choi. Okay, Amy says <laughs> LOL. L LOL. LOL. You like Buck Choi, don't you? you Buck Choi is Buck good. Choy? Now you're a vegetarian. How do you how do you sustain a healthy you know, uh, I, I, you know I don't, I mean, I, I mean I, what's your big you know do you do a lot of beans or do you do a lot of the soy, I got uh, in, tofu stuff? I got into rice and beans this year. It Just, was the first time. Oh wow! I never really ate beans that much before in my life, but yeah, I got into it, and now I'm really into just having like black beans and rice. Sweet, sweet. Um, but yeah, I before that I ate a lot, and I still do eat like a lot of veggie burgers. Yeah. Type thing, so I'll just have like a big thing of pasta or rice. Right. And I'll like make a veggie burger and maybe maybe some vegetables, but I need to get more into a variety of vegetables. I only eat a few. Oh, I see. Yeah. And then I'll be I'll like 
cut up the veggie burger in little pieces and eat it in the bite with the pasta and rice and stuff. So, yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty so, cheap. Pretty that's healthy. always good. Could, yeah. Could be healthier if I had more vegetables that I was eating. But right, right. That tends to be an ongoing issue, though. I think for, for people. Yeah, I um, mean, most of the people that I know who who eat uh who eat animal price, yeah, they still it's sort of the same thing. It's the same issue. It's like, damn, I need some more fruit and vegetables, <laughs> and I and I'm not doing it. You know, I'm yeah. still still packing on too much bread and. Yeah, yeah. I, I, honestly, I don't eat as much uh, that much meat, uh, but I still, you know, crave crave it and and, and yeah. will eat it, I guess. Okay, we're putting some green screen in the back. We're kind of doing the background now. I kind of have them blocked in a little bit. And uh, in painting, guys, we like to block in. We like to do the blocking in. Uh, I changed to blue. Says Ben. Uh, let's read some of the chats here. I love you, Steve. I love you, John. I have to go to work now, but this is the happiest part of my leaf, <laughs> says Ben. Yes, yes. Ben. <laughs> uh, ben Boot. Bu I know Butel Ben. Gun. Yes. Ben Butel Gun. I love him. I, I you know. painted him. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I met him. He's, he's up in South Oakland. People. Yeah, he's, he's a really nice guy. People. He lives up in Oakland. Yeah. Yeah, no, well, I met him. Sim uh, he's in City. Oakland. Oh, he, oh, he's originally from New York, oh. but he's in Oakland now. That's how I met him. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe I got the wrong Ben. <laughs> no, I think he's living in New York City, that's I know. Oh, man. But, okay, maybe I got yeah. the wrong guy. But no, he's great. You painted him You painted him wearing my shirt that said, live my life. Yeah. Whose mustache do you want to see? We both have mustaches. <laughs> you too. Yours is much better and fuller. Well, it's... Uh, Mine's it's, just kind of a laziness thing, almost. Yeah, it's, do, you, do you keep it uh, shaved? Uh, I mean, do you shave it every once in a while? I don't or? shave it. I just trim it a little with scissors that I find in their house. Right, right, because you're on the road. I mean, you are a man on the road, totally. Yeah. So when you go back to uh, Michigan, are you just going to camp out at your parents for a while? And... Uh, I'll just be there for like a week for the holidays. Oh, sweet. Then I, I might start living in Chicago again, or I might yeah. in New York City or San Francisco. I might not totally settle right away, but I'm going to try to like find more of a stable. Okay. Ben, ben says that uh, that I that he told uh, Steve. Uh, uh, well, it's hard to say this without <laughs> getting confused. I'll just read what he said. John, I told you about Steve, and told Steve about you. You'd recognize me if you saw me. Okay, uh, because you. Okay, you you have a gigantic block head, right? It's like uh, unusually square, and <laughs> no, <laughs> and, <laughs> and you have polka dots on the dot on the on the on the block, right? Okay. <laughs> All right, give us a call here, uh, Steve Rogan ba ba Beck. God, Bach, Bach, I got it. <laughs> I'm really bad at this stuff oh, in terms awesome. of like pronouncing stuff. But you know what, guys? You know, I keep going. I keep going. I don't like hide in the shell because I screw up. I just right. keep going. Truly. At least I try to. I guess. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's just get some more paint going on here. You know, do we get rid of all the canvas? Do we do we leave some of the rawness of the canvas protrude? You know, that's really up to you, uh, because over time that raw canvas could actually start to patina and get kind of a funky kind of like you know old paper, you know, like kind of has a coffee stain on it, you know. Or if someone puts their thumb on that, you know, it just kind of gets kind of weirded out, you know. And and so you don't necessarily always have to, you know uh, put paint everywhere, but uh, you know it's just an option. It's an option, uh, as we know. You, you probably probably getting a little hot in here, right? You want to put the fan on? Yeah, sure. Yeah, That'd let's put great. the fan on. I was thinking about that. Yeah, that's that's what it's there for. Okay, eight one eight five two eight four five one six. We're we're having some fun. Uh, by a chance, uh, do you, do you want to do you have anything you want to um, do you want to sing something or a song or a poem <laughs> or something? Oh wow! Uh, no, I don't want to catch you on the know. spot or nothing. I don't know, but I know all your fans would love to see that. Yeah, I don't know. Does anybody have a request? Yeah, yeah. Is yeah. that how it works? I don't know. Is that Lindsay in the chat? <laughs> yeah, Lindsay. Lindsay is in there. Uh, he is trapped. Uh, he's not allowed to get off. He's trapped on the <laughs> I'm treadmill. I'm not allowed to get off. No. I have a water back there. I need to take a sip a little bit, but I don't want to get off. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, you need some water? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let me, uh, let me help you out with that. There you go. We need to get a little... Uh, 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 you know, for, for uh, to hold the drinks there, a drink holder. 
you know, the thing is, sometimes with a painting, is uh, you like where it's at, and you almost feel like it's done, you know? Yeah. That's the scary thing about a painting for me. Yeah, I used to do painting a little bit more, and I would regularly do it where I had it pretty cool, and then i try to add a couple <laughs> yeah. more things, and I then know. I hate it. Damn it. I know. That yeah. Is, it really it drives me crazy, but I just, you know what, I just keep making more more paintings and just eventually, uh, I, I heard, I always mention this, or I will mention it, I always hear that uh, someone, some famous artist would make a point, I do 10 paintings and then only get one and throw the rest away kind of thing. Not yeah. that I would, I, I never throw them away, really, I mean, occasionally I will, but the idea that, that the one really good one is, uh, is after making 10, so. Yeah. I found that kind of. I usually. All right, let's see. We got a call here on Let's Paint TV. Hello, caller. You're on uh, Let's Paint TV with Steve and uh, Mr. Let's Paint. Hi. I just got an idea. Yeah. Well, that's great. Steve, I would you want to maybe recite some of your internet poetry and then let the painting be influenced by by that. Uh oh, yeah, Steve, Steve, uh, Steve, you got Steve on the spot here now. <laughs> Sorry, but I, I understand you're also on a treadmill. Oh yeah, I probably have some that I could bring up on my phone. Uh, it's the internet, it's my, it's my phone internet works. Uh, I don't know what to read though. So you don't make stuff up, you pretty much, you do a lot of writing then. Well, I do sense. make things up, like, uh, when I'm recording my videos, which has become the main thing that people like the most about what I do is the videos. Yeah, 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 those are good. Um, oh, I've seen a few of them. Yeah. It, seems, it seems really, uh, like, a of consciousness. Yeah, it is. It's, uh, it's improvised, usually. Like, I'll just be holding the camera and, like, yelling stuff, like, trying to, right. be, trying to be funny or something for, like, an hour or two. And then I'll get like one or two good ah, minutes gotcha, out of there gotcha, of like really yeah. tightly clipped right. segments. That's what I need to do more of. Yeah, I yeah. feel like I feel like you have a really Edit. good setup that you that you do the live broadcast and then you're also recording it, so then you can go back through and like you I could, could. Cut clips. No, I can and I do, but I'm too lazy, so I just end up just just throwing the whole thing up on on the uh -huh. board, and then <laughs> people don't want to go through all that all the bullshit. Uh -huh. and because I and I don't want to necessarily because I don't want to go through all the bullshit and I don't want to have to figure out where where <laughs> the good stuff is. Uh -huh. But I probably should take take some time because I make too much, you know. I make too much. <laughs> That's the problem. Maybe I should just be once a week kind of. But it's too much know. fun. It's too much fun, you know. <laughs> yeah, you, you gotta go with the fun. Yeah, I like the fun. Uh, so, so to, to, to hell with it is uh, was what I like to say. Screw yeah. it and uh, just kind of <laughs> yeah, just go for it. Really? Okay, uh, so I'm doing the fan right now. Nice. I'm deciding what if I want to read anything. Or uh, I'm thinking like what I have online that I can access. Seeing uh, that yes. fan in there? Yes. Did you find something, or are you just feeling the, no, a little high? Just, Did you got a little brain <laughs> high? It's got a little high. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fantastic. I gotta go to the dentist when I go home oh, for nice. winter break. Nice. I know. I haven't been to the dentist in like probably a couple of years because yeah. I didn't go while I was living in Chicago at grad school. Yeah. And then I dropped out and started traveling, and I haven't like gone anywhere on my travels. So, so, you, so. you okay? So grad school. What was that all about? Grad school. Was it for? Uh, uh, for um, anthropology, I mean, what was that about? It was uh, it was an MFA for poetry. Oh, sweet. But yeah, it didn't really work out for me. I felt that like uh, I don't know. I feel I guess it's not for me. Like I. Well, it's sort of like I mean, what I mean, you've been doing is sort of like what what people in grad school wishes wish they would or you know. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it's, it's like, kind of like grad school is like sort of a compromised version of what I wanted to do because I was in this long relationship that I was planning to like have a family within maybe five or yeah, so years. Yeah, that's always a good plan. And so yeah. I was like, 
I was like, I should have this degree so I can teach, possibly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That makes more money, probably. Yeah. But I didn't really want to. And then once that relationship ended, then I became more ideal, idealistic about just doing exactly what I want. Right. Which was just doing the exactly. art stuff and not worrying about the teaching or anything. And the MFA program wasn't really the best experience because, like, I feel like I'm just a really independent Right. Independent, like, self-driven person. You didn't really care to have someone, some professor come in and talk to you about what you're doing kind of thing, right? You're like... Kind of. I mean, it could it could always be, like, something to stimulate you and stuff and get you thinking about different things. But I guess there wasn't super great connection with a lot of the people that I was working with specifically. And, uh... I don't know, yeah, like... Well, I can only, you know, I mean, I just, I know from, from my experience of work going to school and, uh, you know, going to whatever, uh, grad school in my case, too. Uh, but I, I just sort of didn't, you know, I just kind of trudged along with it and, yeah. and actually avoided really having much interaction with the professors. Yeah, and, that's uh, what I was doing while yeah. I was in the program. <laughs> I was basically just on my computer 12 hours a day doing my internet stuff building a community on the internet and doing that fun stuff and then I would like do my homework on the half hour train ride to class yeah 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 you know and try to cram it in there so I didn't well, so have to do homework in grad school you shouldn't have that well to. it wasn't just like busy I mean it was like yeah you know, like readings there's lots of yeah, readings do that I only did some of it and like I was supposed to give feedback on other people's writing yeah which was like potentially that could be like a, yeah. learning, a learning thing, but right. a lot of times it wasn't for me because I felt like the people were just writing in a totally different style than I do. Yeah, and so, so like, my suggestions would always just be like, this is my favorite part. Right. But I'm like, it's not it's not their favorite part. I know yeah. that. Like, well, it's, it's the same you know, thing with that, with, with painting, too, or, or the arts. And particularly if you're, if you're in, in open to uh, all possibilities, uh, it's, you know, I always talk, tell people about how to paint, and I, I always have to remind everyone, well, look, this is how I paint, and uh, this is sort of what I do, but man, there's just an endless possibilities out there, uh -huh. and, and uh, you know, so you can't, it's hard to, uh, I'm always leery or weary, weary or leery about, you know, sort of dictating uh, yeah. people about how to do something, and, yeah. and uh, you know, how to live their lives, you know, live, yeah. live my leaf. Live my leaf? Yeah. Really? Uh, 818 528 4516. We got Steve Rogenbach. <laughs> See, I think of bok choy and I get it. Bok choy, really. Yeah, because you're a vegetarian and you should be eating bok choy because it's I don't a lovely. I know of bok choy that much. I haven't had the bok, bok choy. Bok choy, bok choy. <laughs> I haven't had the bok, bok choy experience. Oh, dude, you, you got to have some bok choy, man. I don't know. Are you, yeah. How could you be living all your life without any bok choy? I, mean, I don't know. I'm just living it, man. That's good. Well, you'll One get day there. at a time. That's good. That's good. You'll get there. You'll get there. I'm <laughs> uh, 818-528-4516. Taking your calls here. Uh, at, at uh, Well, it's fast food paintings. Uh, paintings of fast food at fast food prices. Uh, let's go to a commercial break uh, while we're at it. <laughs> here. Yeah, I got commercials. Let me, let me get you a commercial here. Uh, here we go. Let's get this one. It's your you choice. Hear it. You don't get the audio, a but shitty uh, value meal that gives you indigestion. Oh, yeah. Eating a hamburger. Or a value yeah, kind of meal stupid. work of art. <laughs> you but can I was able to get it on wall. like. This is a new computer I just got, so it's kind of uh, exciting because I can pop in videos now. Because before I had a little shitty laptop and it, the quality was really bad, and now I'm getting better quality and stuff. So what program is that you're using then? Uh, this is called Wirecast. It's like a $400 program. But it's it's on the software, and then I I jerry rigged it um, wow. with uh, just a regular shitty cameras fast food uh, into prices. like a little cheap two dollars. That's what switcher. fast food painting so it's, is uh, all about. You know I'm <laughs> fast food Okay, let's come back painting. here. Okay, there you go. All right, uh, back. Did you like that? Let, let me. Uh, yeah, that's on YouTube. You can find that uh, somewhere. Eight one eight five two eight four five one six. That is the number. Give us a call here, uh, and we got Steve uh, Rogenbach in the, in the room. Bok choy! Bok choy! 818-528-4516. Chuck it. 
Okay, so that's a new advertisement. You just sponsored them. Chuck it. Chuck it. <laughs> well, in fact, we're, we're looking for sponsors here. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my Jerry Rig treadmill uh, is, is held together by a paintbrush. <laughs> so uh, there, we I fixed it. It's just uh, I don't know. That's not the one I used. That's the, that's like a, a bulky uh, treadmill. This the I have two others over here, and oh, these are the yeah. ones that I take on location and like do shows with and stuff. Oh, you do shows on location? Oh yeah. Treadmill. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I haven't even heard. Yeah, of that. yeah. Uh, my next uh, gig is uh, the, the San Francisco Sketch Fest. Nice. Yeah, it's like a comedy festival up in San Francisco. Nice. And uh, I'm I'm gonna be there uh, February first. You know who I'm gonna open up for? Who? Uh, what? <laughs> uh, Neil Hamburger. <laughs> well, I don't even know you don't know who? You don't know who Neil? Okay. And then uh, <laughs> Tim and Eric, the oh, one of the cool. Tim and Eric yeah, guys. Yeah, I heard lots about them. Yeah, yeah. So that should That's be interesting. Cool. Yeah. Uh, more news on that later on. Let's get back to the painting here. Tim and Eric do live. They do a they live do like show. A I've never seen stuff. it. Yeah, oh. they do the TV show. They do like weird, crazy stuff, mostly video. But I guess they, I know uh, a uh, two people uh, uh, that have gone on, like you know, perform with them live on shows yeah. and stuff. Uh, yeah, so. I'm interested what other like people do live like and what you would do live and stuff too because well i just do what i do on what you see on okay, you yeah. know like i make popcorn and run and paint and just uh, talk <laughs> about whatever it's on the top of my mind in yeah. terms of uh, uh so i free flow it and it's all improv and yeah. I, I might i might try to plan for it but yeah, i, I generally little. don't and i try not to because then because i hate i hate stressing i hate uh, the whole idea of like being an actor Memorizing lines is not my gig. I, uh, I, I it just I don't feel comfortable. Yeah, for me the best. I usually judge whether a reading or any, whether one of my shows is good based on how much good improv I do here. Uh huh. Yeah. Like, because if I'm right. in the zone and just coming up with stuff on the spot. Yeah. Then that's a really good sign. I don't know. That's like the best. Um, okay, let's take a call here. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, well, and, uh, hello, you're on uh, Let's Paint TV. Come on in. <laughs> All right. Let it out. Let it out. Fantastic. Uh, give us a call at uh, 818-528-4516. Letting it out. I'm painting a portrait of Steve Rogenbach. And, uh, and I'm Mr. Let's Paint. Thanks for being here. Uh, that was an alien, says uh, Lindsay. <laughs> I think it was. Uh, Tanner Tanner uh, says he would call, but he's dead. Here, let's take this call here. Hello, caller. You're on uh, Let's Paint TV. Hello. Turn your radio down. Steve. Steve, I'm so happy you're here. Who's this? Alexi. Dylan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're my friends in the UP. The Upper uh, Peninsula of Michigan. Oh, nice. Nice. They got a heck of a culture up there. Do they? What kind of culture is it? It's, it's the pure Michigan. Pure Michigan culture. You ever see the commercials yeah, for the, Michigan? Yeah, they, Michigan? yeah, exactly. I've seen those. Yeah, no, I've seen those. I yeah, totally have. Yeah, when you enter the Upper Peninsula, there's it's a pure. sign that says, Welcome to Pure Michigan. Nice. Yeah, as opposed to fake or <laughs> oh, yeah. shitty or half-ass or... Yeah. Half, I, I would I would like to be you know I'm a big proponent of half ass and uh, that would be a good sign. Welcome to half ass Michigan, oh, right? Yeah? Wouldn't that be good? Oh, and then you could you could have pictures of like a, 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 a buttocks, but 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 just only half of it or something. You know, half of a bun. But <laughs> shouts out to my UP Michigan pals. Dropped off the call, I guess. <laughs> but oh yeah, that's all right. You know that happens. Oh yeah. Let's uh, take a look at this painting oh, yeah. here. It's looking good in the cam. Let's. Uh, oh, careful! Yeah, you're gonna <laughs> you have to get that paintbrush to prop it up again. See, here it is. Is is the the action, the excitement? Oh, you got the tennis ball in my hand? No, that's just your your what your. Is that? I, it, it should be the tennis ball, but it's Maybe just it it's is. it's the uh, it's your <laughs> it's your hand. <laughs> Maybe it's the it's just ball, your hand. Though. <laughs> you gotta write chuck it on it and then it will be the tennis ball. And let's ball. zoom in more for them. There's your face. <laughs> nice. Kind of kind of abstract, but it's part of the excitement. Yeah. 
That's awesome. And I'm afraid to go further with it, but uh, we have a few more minutes, so I, I guess I should screw it up a little more. Nice. All right, 818-528-4516. Uh, uh, Steve uh, Rogan Burke. Uh, stove. Tanner says, Stove, stove. Rogan Burke is stove. beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. All right. And uh, it, uh, we're testing uh, Steve's, uh, making sure that he's alive and well. This is part of his uh, uh, <laughs> test to my... see if you're okay to uh, enlist in the, uh, in the Marines. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to join the Marines based on this. <laughs> Up to five. Not the oh, Marines, no, but maybe no. maybe the uh, maybe the Creativity Corps. Yeah. <laughs> when I was in high school, I liked Slipknot, the band. You ever hear of them? No, uh, Sweatknot. No. <laughs> Slet no, Slip Slipknot. Slipknot. I might yeah. have heard of that. And they had a thing. Their fans are called maggots. Nice. They are called the maggot maggot corps. Yeah. Like corpse, you know, like how it's spelled like that. And uh. uh so I identified as a maggot in high school because it not. Nice. Yeah. By the way, you're speeding up now. Do you feel? <laughs> do you feel that the the? Uh, you better slow it down. Oh, you're going crazy, I'm living man. Living my life. Yeah. Well, we don't want to have you injured or nothing, you know. Oh, good point. Yeah. Slow down. But I mean, I was feeling you know, the excitement. Safety, guys, is it very really important. It was more exciting. Like last night at my reading in West Hollywood. Yeah. I was for a while. I had my computer in the one hand because that's where I was reading off of. And then I had the mic in my left hand, and I noticed I wasn't moving around as much because I had this corded mic dangling down by my feet, and like I had to hold it, and like I just didn't have as much movement in my performance for the first half. Yeah. And I feel like I wasn't as good. I wasn't as on. Right. Do you? Do you, I, I saw one of your videos like you're in Austin or something, and you're just you know having a few beers. And then you know, doing your thing. Do you find that having a few beers kind of uh, is good for the performance? Uh, no, I don't. I don't oh, even drink. That oh, you don't. Oh, I, I thought I, it been. was the other people. Other people are drinking beer. Maybe okay. yeah. Maybe I that was, was drinking it. some like can of something probably. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I never got into like drugs or alcohol that much. Well, it's probably um, better that you don't because we need you uh, to to keep doing what you do. Thank you, man. And uh, you know. Drugs and alcohol, uh, drugs and alcohol uh, are uh, ultimately can you know take you down, and uh, so uh, uh, kids stay off drugs. <laughs> Say no to crack and and uh, whatever. Okay, I was trying to be like trying to do a, a anti drug PSA. a PSA, and it just didn't go well. We could try that up again. Do you know Lil B the bass god? The the who? Lil B the bass god. <laughs> no. Oh man, you would love. Lou, Lou B, like, <laughs> Lil B as in like little. Oh, B. Lil, 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 Lil B, the Lil. base god. No, no. And Snack Pack, I gotta show you these guys. Snack Pack, I like the name just you right there. Like, I Damn. feel like uh, I feel you fit into the same template as them that I'm trying to also fit into. Where this thing where like you're like funny a lot of times, but then you also like have this really sincere, positive message. Yeah, too. yeah, no, I, I I'm on to that because ultimately uh, that's only that keeps. That's what sustains me. If I was trying to be funny all the time, it would just be kind of like, yeah. well, just like anyone who's trying to be funny all the time, you know, like Adam Sandler or something, you know, it's just like, uh -huh. wah, wah, you know, it's just not funny all the time it, it, because you're always trying to be funny. It's not, it's not easy. Yeah. I feel like, you know, so it's sort of maybe, uh, it's sort of in you to be funny just because you kind of were, you know, maybe grew up with, with uh, you know, always looking for a funny factor in, in life, <laughs> you know? Uh, looking for a joke, you know, and stuff like. Well, well, by the way, were you like the class clown or something? A little bit. A little bit. Yeah, I was. I was like my baseball team clown for a little while. Oh, like, nice. In Little League. Yeah. I remember I was doing in Little League. I was basically <laughs> doing the same thing as I what I do story. now on Facebook. Yeah. Where I would be the pitcher or something. Yeah. And like to pump other people up on yeah. the team, I would like say these random whack things. <laughs> right, right, right. Like, hey, better, better, all that <laughs> stuff. I would be like pitching, and then I'd look over to the third baseman and I'd say something. I remember saying something about bananas. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, totally just throw them off. It was yeah. all, it was all, you know, random. Like how like middle schoolers say like, I love being random with my friends. You no. Know? And did that, did that help your <laughs> team win? Uh. I mean, we only did Not okay, that it mattered, you but know. I did feel like it helped the performance because it helped the morale. Right, we got right, exactly. Excited, and we were having exactly. a good time, and like, 
So yeah, I feel like it helps. I know uh, just a little league story on my part uh, years ago. Uh, I was bored out of my mind playing uh, the outfield, and I took my hat off and I did a Mexican hat dance. Oh and yeah. I danced around my hat just out of <laughs> sheer boredom. Nice. Uh, you guys are watching Let's Paint TV. We have Steve uh, Roggenbeck here. Uh, Roggenbach. 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 Bach Choi. And uh, if you want to call in and talk to uh, Steve, Steve, <laughs> Steve, see the, the oxygen is getting in there, isn't it? The, yeah. It's man. bubbling in your head. You know, I'm telling you guys, exercise and creativity and, of course, healthy eating. And, and Steve knows all about that with the vegetarian well, kind of diet. I mean, I need to get better at that, getting more vegetables. I want to get on... How can you be a vegetarian and not eat any vegetables? That doesn't make the, any sense. It's the carb life. <laughs> you're, okay, you're more of a carbologist a uh, 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 or something. Carbologist. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I study carbs. <laughs> the thing is... Uh, Oh, as I say, oh, I want to get on eating smoothies, like green smoothies, where you mix in a lot of vegetables and fruit, and it basically just tastes like this, like, oh, fruity, yeah. delicious drink, but you're actually getting all these vegetable nutrition. Yeah, yeah, I've so, done some of that, the smoothie deal. Nice. Yeah, no, that's a good thing. Uh, uh, yeah. There's a lot of uh, juicing. It's called juicing, and, of course, oh, I know all that about yeah, that yeah. with my blending apparatus. Yeah, yeah I, got I my saw blended. that, but it was yeah. funny in the... In the in the show that had like half a million views, yeah, it was funny that you like didn't know that you had to put liquid in, <laughs> and you had like the banana and the ice, and I was like, you need to pulsate this thing, John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, like yeah, off I I thing. do. I'm I'm a classic example of someone that learns uh, on on uh, on the job. You yeah. know what I mean? And uh, yeah, I subsequently great. learned a lot of wonderful uh, like cooking uh, insights by by just jumping oh, in. Yeah, by jumping in. So. Uh, yeah, it's true. I don't necessarily know what I'm doing. Yeah, uh, and, and for that matter, that's uh, that's a good way to go, though. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, maybe. Well, whatever, okay. whatever is exciting to get you going is uh, that will then then you know through the process of, of elimination you get better at it. Maybe. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, last or, night. I, was... I mean, I don't know if I want to be like a heart surgeon, you know, or a brain doctor, you know, <laughs> or you know, you, with a scalpel, uh -huh. and, and you know, just and then you get better as you go. You could but do it on, in like, theory, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But in theory, it you it would be uh, it would eventually you would learn how to perform correct open heart surgery <laughs> after say a thousand you know screw ups. You uh -huh. know. Yeah. Yeah, but maybe yeah maybe not the best thing. Yeah. Last night on the YouTube, I don't remember, I was going to say this a few minutes ago, now I don't remember what connected this it had to the other stuff you were saying, though. But, um, no, oh, when we were talking about the positive outlook and everything that I feel like you have and that I find in Lil B and stuff. Because last night my show was booked by Lil B's manager. Nice. That was very exciting to me, so I got to talk about Lil B with him for a long time. It's, uh, who, now, where is he stationed? Lil B is in like Berkeley. Berkeley, okay, that's my well, uh, kind of my. Uh, I grew up in that area. It's oh, nice. That's my. Uh... Nice. You were up there just recently, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, I was. I like it. Um, but anyway, yeah, somebody on my YouTube channel was uh, commenting on my new video, and they thought that the positivity in it, because I was saying the the title of it is, um, we're both alive at the same time. Smiley face. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. And. Uh, so it's very positive, and they were they were criticizing because they think it's really like surface level, or that it's just like you're just like you know slapping this smiley face over like the problems of the world or something. Yeah. But I was telling them back like, I mean I know what he's talking about like a lot of like mainstream culture seems to like impress this like smiley face on things like the Walmart bag like thank you for shopping you know with the smiley. Yeah face. yeah yeah. But being, it's like uh, being a little more. Uh... They, they think maybe you're being a little more uh, insincere or something. Yeah, but yeah. I don't think that's it at all. I think like, um, I think like, I know so many people who get burned out like in efforts to like change the world, like doing right. all this great service work and yeah. activism work, and these people get burnt out. Could it be so said easily, what you're like, doing is sort of doing just that too? You you are sort of changing the world, aren't you? Uh, I I believe it is yeah. a way to change the world, yeah. but also I'm trying to give culture. To the people that are trying to change the world like I feel like people need culture that's gonna like help them see the bright side of things without being like part of the mainstream like culture right uh, right exactly and I mean, so I don't know I kind of lost my train of thought well but, no I, I, I mean yeah I, I guess I'm just trying to 
uh, add to it, even though it might be more of an abstract addition that had nothing to do with what we were talking about. Let's take a call here. Uh, a few more minutes here uh, on Let's Paint TV. Hello, caller. You're on uh, Let's Paint TV with uh, Steve and uh, myself, Mr. Let's Paint. Hi, I'm um, just uh, watching you guys on today. It's uh, really fun and really uh, uh, enlightening. Okay, fantastic. Uh, yeah, I, just, uh, I have a question for Steve. Yes. Yes, I was wondering if you can pull out a penis and maybe you can suck it. What was that? Pull Stop out it. my penis and suck it? <laughs> That's going to be a little... Are you going to pay me 500 My going rate is $500 you, a day. You suck it, I, want, I want to come. I want him to come on your face. <laughs> <laughs> I want him to come on your face. All right, fantastic. <laughs> I didn't even can know. Can you maybe take a poo on his face and eat it? Put poo on my face? Yes, poo on your face and you can eat it. Wait. And poop. have anal sex. Poop my anal own. Anal sex and deep throat. <laughs> poop my own? Oh. Should I poop my own face want, on my face? I, I mean, poop my own come poop. in my bum. I want to lick your genitals and, and eat your feces. <laughs> All right, well, let it out. That's the definitely, it feels good. The uh, uh, By letting, you know, sort of letting stuff out is good. Uh, let all Let those various uh, elements out. Thanks for the call. Thanks for the call. Uh, we, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you know, I had this video in the spring where I said, my dad's got skid marks on his dick from farting on his own dick. Nice. And um, what was the response? I don't know. I don't think people responded to that specifically. They were a little, really. they weren't. See, a lot of times people don't know how to respond because by them responding, they're acknowledging that maybe they like it, and then and then people like go, well, who's this person that likes it? So uh -huh. so so secret secretly they do like what 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 you what you just said there. They just don't want to they don't want to acknowledge <laughs> because well, you know really. like their you know their girlfriend or their mother or somebody's gonna look at it and say, oh, you like that 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 comment, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's funny how many calls you get that I hear people just like flaming or whatever, you know? Like was that, that was a genuine thing like in that show that got really famous. Yeah. All the all the calls were like, right. none of them were like staged or anything? No, not staged, but they, they, they purposely planned on calling and they, they didn't just call my show, they called all the other shows too. Oh, okay. It's just somehow uh, maybe just the, the uh, potential absurdity of what I was doing with their calls just sort of made an interesting, you know, as yeah. opposed to just uh, the religious uh, uh, teacher that's sitting behind a desk and uh, talking about, you know, God yeah. is going to, you know, uh, come down on all gays or some kind of crazy uh -huh. bullshit. Uh, and then people call him. Then that's just too obvious. And, and yeah. maybe this, maybe what I, I you know, who knows? What, but uh, my show was, is not the only show that had prank callers coming on. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's interesting. Yeah, because I guess on a bigger platform like Stickam, and having, like you said, you have one of the more popular shows on there. Well, uh, at, at times, at times, uh, it's they like me, so they like to put me on the on their uh, sort of uh, front oh, page at times. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, I've been using a smaller platform. Usually, I use this site called Spreecast. Yeah. And so, like, I don't get as much random exposure like that. Yeah. I guess maybe. Like, I've been on the front page of that too. Right. But it's not as big yeah. as a site right now. It's still beta. Oh, okay, yeah. But I like all the features they have on that. Okay, yeah, well, I like, you know, what I like about Stickam, now that we're kind of talking about uh, uh, places like that, uh, Stickam has this interesting thing where uh, it's the only web site that uh, has, like, little webcams that you can cam up, that viewers can cam up. Oh, right here. Yeah, Spreecast has that. Oh, too, they do? Oh, okay. Spreecast, you can bring them on, like, split screen. Oh, sweet, can that's you nice. Do that on Stickam or not? Really? Uh, no, but I can. With this uh, Wirecast software oh. program, I can take a Skype call oh, and okay. have it split screen and take calls from I like see. people. Yeah, yeah. But I I have to rig it up, and I I'm not the most uh, tech savvy. Yeah. You know, it's this was like uh, this was like five ten years of research, or you know what <laughs> I mean. It just took yeah. forever to even, you know, it just takes forever. Okay. Uh, last few minutes here, guys. Uh, uh, here at uh, Fast Food Paintings. Uh, by the way, Fast Food Paintings. Uh, we're, the fast food painting food truck, wait, the fast food paintings food truck is going to be there on Mulholland Drive this Sunday uh, from uh, like 1 to 4, 4.30, right across the street from the Hollywood Bowl Overlook on Mulholland Drive. We'll see you there. Uh, and again, uh, you want to see uh, Steve, 
a Roggenbach uh, Choi. Roggenbach Choi. Uh, you can uh, I, on his website. Uh, I am Leaf. <laughs> no. <laughs> Live my leaf. Actually, the one that I've been telling people the most now because it's the easiest to spell. Yeah. Is facebook.com slash boost the world. Boost the world because, yeah. of course, you are you are a positive uh, addition to the world. Thank you, man. I'm trying yeah. to be. I, I see it. I, I see really it. feel motivated to build something big because I want to spread the positive culture. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's one of my biggest motivations because I recently reached the point that I'm like, I'm probably going to be able to make a living off this, like... No, even if I don't get any bigger, right? But I still feel motivation to get bigger because I feel motivation to spread the positive vibes. Yeah, people. yeah. So that was sort of a realization I had recently. But but I, I'm sure that you probably have like down days, right? I mean, you're all happy, but you know, you present oh. yourself as happy. But you, there's there's times. What do you do when you feel like shit? When when you're in the oh. dumps? What do you got to tell people out there? Yeah, well, sometimes you can learn from it, you know, like. That was something my I was feeling lonely a lot because I came out of this really long relationship and my mom told me that I should journal when I feel sad like that. And that's helped a bit like Yeah, moms always are good like that. They yeah. give you a little weird support. Like but, my mom years ago gave me a book on uh, how women uh, you know I got dumped and, and she gave oh, me yeah. a book on on uh, <laughs> how women are more uh, you know uh, uh, you know, some kind of book about that, you know. <laughs> yeah. So like, of course, I didn't read it, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, see, sometimes, so sometimes you can learn something when you're sad, like, what's wrong? Like, why are you sad? And that's really valuable, actually, you know. Like, you can make, like, some of the most important decisions of your life because you're motivated by feeling frustrated or sad. So it can actually be really positive. But then also, sometimes there's not really a reason. Like, the other day I felt a little bit of sadness but I was like I was realizing that there wasn't really anything that I could do about it or any any real reason for it I really thought about it and I'm like I'm just feeling this I don't even know why so then I just sort of like boosted out of it like I guess recognizing that it wasn't really there for any reason helped me but then I just sort of I think that was when I go, went and recorded a bunch for my video I just started like jumping up trying to get like physical and like feel the excitement I think I was like dancing around a little bit and then like I sort of just got in a better mood. I don't you know. felt, yeah, because uh, uh, I find myself, uh, and again, I always talk about this, uh, you know, the uh, exercising and uh, creativity and all that stuff, and some healthy food really helps. Uh, you know, and maybe a couple of beers too might, might not hurt. Hello, you're on Fast Let's Pay TV. Hi. Hi, first time caller. Uh, okay, uh, but are you a long-time listener? Are you a long-time listener, too? I'm just wondering who's running right now. Who's what? This is Steve. Yeah, this is Steve. Yeah, he is. Yes. Um, he's, he's, a, he's working on being famous. But I think he's famous. I think he's famous. Steve Rogan Bach. Rogan Bach. Rogan Bach. Yeah, it's Rogan Bach. Just <laughs> Rogan Buck, yeah. Look up Live My Leaf. Right? Oh, Rogan Buck. Okay. The, uh, the, um, I was wondering, can you pick your penis out and suck it? Cock it and penis. Pick your penis out. You know, that that actually might help out become, that might help you become more famous, uh, Steve. I that was. Reach. I've tried to suck my own. In your mouth. You know. <laughs> in your mouth. I want penis in my mouth. Keep I it going, baby. Oh, Man, I wish I had great colors on my show. I wonder if this is the same person as before or inspired by the person. No, I think it's the same caller. Yeah. Well, we have a rule: one call a day. One call a day, caller. Thank you. <laughs> the first, it's the first time caller. He said, first time. So this. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you thank very you. much. Did you see, did you see he, did you see how he said thank you? It yeah. felt he felt good by letting it out. Truly. And you know he's like BM poo poo BM poo poo. I remember as a kid that was a, <laughs> really a big funny thing to say. Yes. And uh, great show tonight. Great show. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for calling. Thanks for coming and watching. Uh, and I think he actually did come. Oh, he did yeah. come. Okay. But um, boom. I get it. Uh, okay. Well, guys, uh, that is the show officially. We oh, are yeah. we have passed the twelve o'clock noon hour. Thanks again, guys. Thank you so much. Couldn't see the chat. 
this is a rare for me because usually like I'm interacting directly with the chat like the whole time that I'm on a show. Oh, nice. Yeah, because there is a lot to hear to, to read, and I, I bypassed it uh, a lot because it's just hard to read it all. Yeah. Thank you uh, guys for watching. And so a lot uh, of you already know my stuff, then, but yeah, yeah, if you if you, don't, right. Where do they go, Steve? The, yeah, the place I tell people is facebook.com slash boost the world. That's because easy to remember. Boost the world. Yeah, All because, one word. Because it's easiest to spell. But, yeah. But I'm on Twitter and Tumblr and everything. Yeah, and if you're having issues and, and, you, and, you, and you can't figure out how to get to them, you can get to them through me. If that's the, if you have that, you know, it's just like, hey, Mr. Paint, who, who is that guy you had on, uh, and uh, where can I reach him? Uh, if you have any issues with that, uh, you can always contact me. Yeah, so the painting's done. The painting is done. Yes, it is. I gotta see it. Take a look here, Steve. Should I turn this off? Yeah, go ahead. Let me turn it off for you. Yeah, just the thing. Oh, you know what you can do? That's the emergency. Thing. I was thinking of that. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Well, it's like the world stop. Yeah. How many miles do you think you went? Oh, I don't know. I can't see. Uh. I don't know, but I found this I know, website recently. Watch it's yourself because like, you're going to get pain if you, if you, you know. I found this, this website, like, that my friend found, like, just accidentally, like, typing a bunch of shit. Oh, you got pain on your shoe now. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Ah. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, my friend found this website just by typing in, like, random numbers on the, uh, oh, professional guest, Ed is in there. Hi, Ed. Um, my friend was typing in la 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 dot com or something. Yeah. And it was actually, it was like this certain number of laws. It was this crazy site in a different language. I think Filipino. And it was like this crazy animated gif of these, like people in these costumes dancing. And like this, la 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 la, la 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 la, like this music. And yeah. it was like, whoa. Yeah. It was like such a boost. Like I immediately felt yeah. happier after watching it. Yeah. And I kept it on for like a long time. And then like when you turn it off, it's just like, this like incredible silence you know <laughs> yeah I, I believe so I anyway, believe so oh wow that is awesome what will happen to this painting uh well when you become really famous yeah and and me too then we'll sell uh, I could sell this for like a million dollars yeah yeah that's nice so um, it'll just stay with you for now I'll just hold on to it keep it yeah keep it uh in the in I the just I cell. just want to read this uh, st stove uh Rogan Burke a uh, boost my butthole says <laughs> nice Alexander. nice Sarah from Montreal. Amazing. Uh, anyway, I think I captured your, uh, well, a little bit of your nose uh, and your oh, mouth yeah. a little bit. I definitely got That's your uh, your your beanie, uh, your, your uh, hoodie. Your hoodie. Yeah. And this is my one, only pair of pants that you captured. Now. Wow. So you wore these pair of pants the whole trip, well, basically. Well, I started out with two pairs, and yeah. the one got a whole... A lot of holes in it. Right. And so this one's now getting lots of holes like in the pockets and even on the butt now. Nice. It's my only pair now, so yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish out the year with it and then I think I, I think my parents are probably gonna get me new pants for Christmas or something anyway. So. Yeah, that's always good. So. I think the life the, the creative life usually you have to rely on people buying you clothes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't you're not spending much time at Target. Oh and, no, uh, I hate being in stores. I, I tried to get a second pair of pants in the spring, but I went into a store and I just hated it. So I just left and just accepted that I only have the one pair of pants. My mom kept sending me money for pants. Yeah. She'd send me like seventy-five dollars and say get some pants. And you but did. I didn't. I no, just I kept know. the money for other stuff. That's uh, Ken. I had that same story actually, just recently. Oh yeah. Yeah. My mom gave me some money for some socks to buy socks because she sees that I have holes in my socks and I I never nice. bought the socks. <laughs> I think I bought beer. So no, I don't know what I did. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know what I did. So, with it. are you making like? I'm interested. Like, yeah. is, this, is this what you do for a, a living? Quote yeah, quote? yeah, yeah, yeah. I sell paintings. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, oh, that's uh, awesome, man. Let's take a call here. Uh, we're we're not really on anymore, but I mean, we are still on. We're actually. on. We're still on. Hello, but we're not like trying to do a show anymore, which is sometimes better. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hello. Hi. Um. I googled uh, Steve Rogenberg. Okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just get to the punchline. Just start, <laughs> just start going for it. Go for it. Three, two, okay, one. Can you take your shirt off? I want to see your nipples. <laughs> okay. You know, on my show, I, I get... I want to see your nipples. <laughs> <laughs> this is very dear to my heart. My friend from the UK, yeah. Jack Gooding, always comes on my show and tells me to take off my shirt. And, uh... Steve, I'm masturbating right now watching you. 
I am masturbating watching you. I am masturbating. I'm coming right now. <laughs> That's what it's all about, man. That's what it's all about. You can do it. <laughs> on your iPad? You're watching this on an yeah, iPad? I came all over your face. <laughs> I came all over your face. And a little bit on, on, uh, on, yeah, your face. And the guy behind you, the cardboard walk. <laughs> the cardboard looking. So and the fan. Oh, I can't keep on the fan and squirting all over the room now. <laughs> More uh, zooms. How about my bald head? Look at there. Did you come on that spot right there? There, there you oh go. Oh my God! I love green. I'm wrapping myself in green. And your eyes, your eyes are very beautiful. Oh my God! Yes, thank you for the cool stuff. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you for calling. <laughs> Amazing. I yeah. have this guy. They tend to have just like one person call like five, fifteen times because they uh -huh. they get the, they feel the love. They feel the, oh, the love, excitement, the endorphins, the exciting. endorphins go get crazy. I'm sweating. So then they call again. They call again. I'm all they sweaty from Expect that, that guy to wow. call again. He'll probably call that number, 818-528-4516. <laughs> Whoever called, I'm sucking my dick right now. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I have this guy in the UK, Jack Gooding, who would always tune into my shows. He's been a little more absent lately, but yeah. he would always flood the chat with, Steve, take your shirt off. Oh, Steve, yeah, take nice. your shirt off. Yeah, yeah. Flood it, flood it. It's yeah. so funny. It is funny. The This whole oh, thing yeah. is, I've been doing this for about, I'd say, three years. Well, no, yeah. since 2008, I really got into doing it like every day kind yeah. of thing. I mean, I'll take breaks. And earlier this, uh, like around May, I took like a couple of months off. I was like, you know, I kind of don't want to do this anymore. Dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, is this another call? Let's take this call here. I think this is somebody else. Hello, you're on uh, Let's Paint TV. You turned hello? on. Yeah, hello. Hi. Yeah, I was just wondering, uh, what do you guys think of the phrase, uh, fake it until you make it? Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's a viable, uh, thing to think about and, and use in your, uh, uh, if, if that, uh, you know, I'll as your... I think your stream is broken right now. Everything's lagging right now. Oh, uh, shoot. Yeah. Oh, darn. Other people are saying that. Oh, for goodness sakes. Uh, Damn it. Ref refresh, please. I don't know. I, I don't think we're gonna bother. We're we're about to sign out here anyway. Oh, okay. No, I think that phrase. I feel I feel like that works though. Like that's what I was talking about the other day when I was feeling a little sad, but then I realized I didn't really have anything to actually feel sad about, and then I just sort of like, I just sort of like acting as if I exactly. was already like, yeah, boosting and like more yeah. excited, and then once I felt that, yeah. then I like, then it actually became real in me, and then I was excited. Have you heard about these yoga guys or or? Uh... I don't know if it's yoga, but it's some one of these uh, Indian. Uh, anyway, they're into like having you laugh, and oh, you yeah? just go, <laughs> 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 and it actually, believe it or not, uh -huh. you start to feel better. Yeah, and it I really helps. It. Yeah. So yeah, fake it to make it is not a uh, not a bad gig. Yeah, that's kind of what I do yeah. anyway. What about you? How do you feel about it? Me? Yeah. Oh, it reminds me of uh, Walt Whitman. Walt Whitman, oh, sure. Oh, yeah, how so? Yeah. I love Walt Whitman so much. Yeah, because, you know, like, his contemporaries, you know, might have, uh, I don't know, had, like, more skill or something. But, uh, you know, he, like, really had a lot of uh, drive, right? Right, like, right, right. I, I, I totally uh, buy into that. Um, yeah, do you ever read Whitman much? I, you know, honestly, I'm a really bad reader. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm the worst. You gotta check out the video I made because one, because you're in it. Two, because okay, it's I'll, so de positive. I'll definitely check it but out. But three, it also has the big Whitman excerpt in it, nice. so you might be yeah. intrigued by the Whitman. In right, it, so. Whitman. I always confuse. I always confuse Whitman with, uh, with uh, the guy from the Dust Bowl, the singer. Uh, this land is my land. Oh, this yeah. land is your <laughs> land. From California, you know who I'm yeah, talking about? I, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, and I know the song. I don't yeah. know the person. Yeah, I always think of him as that's Walt Whitman, but it's not. Where is he from? <laughs> Walt Gold, Whitman no, is Golden from Pond, right? Yeah. On Golden Pond with uh, Catherine Hepburn and and Henry Fonda. Wait, you're talking Walt about Whitman? the singer now? Oh, Walt Whitman. Yeah, didn't he write that on Golden Pond? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm, Walt, I'm mixing. Are it you all talking up. about Walden? Walden, that's Walden. That, that yeah, was, uh, that was Henry David Thoreau. Yeah, we got to combine all these guys together. Yeah, that'd be good. That'd yeah, be good. combine them. That's make it easier. There's one writer. <laughs> Confuse it all. So, uh, so Steve, what's uh, what's next? Now that you're yeah, where are you LA? going now, man? I'm going to San Diego. 
And then I'm going to go to Salt Lake City and Denver and then home to Michigan for the holidays. And then I'm going to do a thing in New York City on New Year's Eve. And then I might be like mostly living in Chicago, but I might. I'm, Woody not, Guthrie. I'm not totally sure of that. Woody Guthrie, Professor oh, Guest says. Sorry. Yeah, that's right. Woody Guthrie. Yeah, I, I confuse Walt Whitman with Woody Guthrie. Guthrie. Do they do they ever meet up or anything? Is that, did they, I don't think so. Did Walt they ever Whitman hang was, out or something? Walt Whitman was in the 1800s. Okay, so, so it's not possible. I don't think so. Unless there was time I mean, travel. Spiritually, like <laughs> I mean, it's, in a sense, I've I've met up with Walt at <laughs> at length. You know, I totally, I totally into that. I uh, I mean, I, I could buy into that. Yeah. I've been buying into all other stuff too, so might as well. <laughs> Just, I love buying into things. Oh, <laughs> Truly, who is this calling? I'll let you guys go though. You guys haven't been done. Do I know you already from the internet or no? Oh, oh he disappeared. Three one two though. Where's three one two? Is that that's New York? No. I'm not sure. What's three one two? The area code. Let's. Who? Where's that guy from? Sarah. Come back to Montreal. Montreal was awesome. So. um... Some of the events uh, that you go to was like like twenty people, or there's two hundred people. Like how look like, how like some of these venues that yeah. So. Um, well, last night I was really pumped because it was just me and yeah. it was like forty or fifty people. Oh, nice! And I was like, wow, all I to see you, all for me, all you know? for you. And like, yeah, and then there was like a donation at the door, so I got oh like, yeah, 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 made a little it, money. Actually. I love that. Yeah, that's great. That's something I'm gonna try to get it set up more consistently. Yeah, but yeah, like. I mean, I've been able to draw like 20 for a while because I always get like the local readers too. Right. And they bring like a couple friends. Yeah. But yeah, but lately it's been in the bigger cities, mm -hmm. it's been more like 50 or 60, and that's yeah. been exciting. Because it's like, a did really, I see it's a something you were like written up in the New York Times? Yeah, that the, cool? in the Style Magazine. Yeah. Just like, yeah. They said really nice stuff yeah. about me too, like really yeah, hyperbolic stuff. Like I know, like you were like <laughs> you the, know, the first 21st century poet or something. Yeah, like, yeah, it was pretty sweet. Like, I wouldn't say that about you might, myself. You know, I'll tell you, you know, you're asking what you're going to do with this painting. When you become Poet Laureate yeah. of the United yeah. States, yeah, that would when be Barack Obama day. says, look, we need some new blood. We Actually, need a new friends, Poet Laureate. My friend Sarah in the pain in the chat is doing a portrait of me too. That's why I was thinking for this. I was thinking of putting on my Pikachu hat. Oh, nice! I have a Pikachu yeah. hat, but she was already painting me with the Pikachu hat. Oh, okay, hat, yeah. And she's doing a version where you know, like how on the internet there's like image macros, like the wall caps and stuff, where they have like text imposed and stuff. Yeah. She was painting an image macro, like she's gonna like paint a, like a wall cats type thing. Okay. Like paint it on there. Nice. So I'm really excited about that. She she sent me some drafts of that. So like. This is exciting. There's got to be lots of portraits of me. Lots of people have drawn like, like watercolor or just like. Pen oh, see, so that so it's just add, adds to the fame. You know what I mean? <laughs> it does. All this stuff. The mystique, the yeah. iconic. Mm -hmm. It's done, Sarah. Yes. What is done? I gotta done? see it. I don't know. Oh, the paint. Sarah did the painting. She yeah. is doing the painting. I get behind on the Facebook messages, so I like miss it. She probably already sent me a picture or something, but I get flooded out on there. Nice, Sarah. I'm so excited. Cool. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, we're uh, kind of wrapping up, I guess. I don't know. I mean, we could stay here all day, I suppose. I mean, <laughs> where, where are you guys headed? What's your plan for the afternoon? Oh, I want to go to this vegan restaurant called oh. Truly. Truly. That I mentioned earlier. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where was I it? Get in a picture. West Hollywood or something? Or? It's in Hollywood, On the other I side think. of the hill? Yeah. It's, uh, they have... I want to get a picture with the menu, you know, that says truly a vegan restaurant. Oh, man. And for me, that's going to be a meme. People are going to like that. Because <laughs> I've been saying truly a lot. I don't know. It's, it's a good <laughs> word. Because there's sort of a, a misconception about what that really means, truly. I think. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, don't know. know. Maybe. It's like, it's interesting because, like, um, I, I have, it's like this thing that I just say a lot and, like, I was talking to one of my friends on the phone who also says it, like, who got into it, I guess because of I, I always said it. But, like, I noticed she said truly before she even, like, knew what she was going to say after it. Yeah. So she was, like, truly yeah. dark, you know? <laughs> like, she didn't even know what it was going to be, but she knew yeah. that it was going to be truly that, you know? Yeah, yeah, truly. <laughs> truly. You know, one of my pet peeves of late is everyone, when they... Uh, interview people on TV or on the news or something, or, or, or they interview people, 
and and the person always starts off the the interview by saying so have you seen that <laughs> they so they, they say okay so so no 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 <laughs> oh. no no they, they they yeah well kind of this is how it goes down they go so uh steve uh i hear uh that you're, you're you've been traveling around the country uh you know doing these gigs and then you reply so yes i was you know <laughs> they, they they just skip the so just say uh-huh. yes you know i don't know for some reason everyone uh, huh. Yeah. Interesting. They, for some reason, respond all their answers with so. It's a. Uh, I find it uh, kind of problematic. <laughs> problematic. It's a big problem. It, it really <laughs> drives me crazy. But anyway, that's uh, that's something that. I that guess. is now truly. Truly. Or okay. sincerely about that. Sincerely. Yeah. Sincerely. <laughs> I really liked um, John Keats. I read John Keats's letters. He's like somewhat famous for write his letter writing along with his poetry because he wrote like these love letters and stuff. But anyway, I really like this. Um, you know, how people end letters with like yours truly. You yeah. Know? Um, well, he did this thing where he would end the last paragraph with I am and then yours truly, John. You know, <laughs> I am yours truly, John. I really that's like not, that. That's but a he nice. Like, he like yeah. made it new by like adding the original mm. context back yes. into it or something. Right, right. Well, you could probably do something with best. You know how people do that now? Yeah. That's like kind of an... I kind of I, discovered that. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, we are the best. best. Steve. Steve. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> I am not the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. I'm getting hungry, though. Um, yeah. Yeah, this has been a good show. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's man, it was... Uh, it was honor. It was... Uh, well, uh, it's an honor to have you on. It's You're so probably the more... Uh, I don't have many people come in here just because it's uh, it's in my mother's basement and uh, you know I don't really you know she's not really big on having people come here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is it? <I> <laughs> no, I just. Oh okay. I that's my. That's been my story. I mean, it's not a basement really, but. I no, I know, but I tell it. people it is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Hey, uh, well, nice anyway, I guess we can sign off. Uh, yeah, I know, but anyone, I'm always, I always open up my. Uh, I'm always an open book in a sense. I, yeah, I, me I'm, too. I'm not like really big on keeping any lies. Uh huh. I guess that's awesome. But I try not to let be too personal either. At the same time. Yeah. You know, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's good. But that's it's hard good. not to. That's a good combination, I feel. Well, last uh, me- last minute with Steve, and 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 me, also. This is it. This is it. This will be an iconic moment in history. Probably, be yeah, because you're going to go on to be like the poet laureate, and uh, then I'm going to be the uh, the painting laureate, the painting uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what do what or, do painters get to be? Uh, what can you do? Can you can you well uh, uh, Kennedy really Medal of Honor or something? Kennedy Honor. You get a Purple Heart. Yeah, we'll get Kennedy honors from <laughs> for for uh, Ingen- for ingenious yeah, uh, creativity moves for busting a move. Uh, well, so that's it, guys. Last, uh, we'll take one more call. One more call for Steve. Going Ed's once. Ed's, Ed's always trying Going to twice. Montana. Ed, you got to keep spreading the word in Montana. Eventually, there will reach a critical mass, and I'll have to come to Montana. Do you, do you just take a bus to get there, or do you fly? Or a little... Usually, Montana's a bit out there, so it you might, might be, be even cheaper it. to fly or something. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, out here in the West, like, the bus and trains... Are, are relatively more, good. Are more well, they're more expensive because oh. like the cities are further apart. Oh uh, yeah. There's the mountains and everything. So yeah. like, I mean, up and down California, it's not too bad. But then if you're going into like Salt Lake City and Denver and Phoenix and stuff, yeah, uh, Vegas and stuff, it gets way more expensive. So it's almost cheaper to fly uh, and I see. like way less hassle. Mm. But humanity's Montana. Woo! Well, that's it, guys. Thanks again. Uh, let me. We'll, we'll just get this on the camera. Yeah. All right. Thanks wait, for coming. Wait, wait. We should give people an opportunity. Okay. To group screenshot. shot. Somebody screenshot it. Somebody screenshot well, it. Well, they might be still getting it. They probably already have. Though. Maybe they did already. Because I've got good good people. You got some on people deck. behind there. I've got so. good people on deck. Send me the screenshot of that. Somebody. Yeah. All right. Well, Thank thanks so a lot. Okay, yeah. Screenshot that too. Yeah. All right. That's it, guys. Oh, she got it. Or prof, 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 prof. Prof guest. Prof guest.
Is he? Ed. Are you of the professor? It's Ed. Is he? Yeah. Is he a professor? I don't know. I don't what are you, so. Ed? What do you He's do? He's a professional guest, I think. Was oh, the name. Maybe I see. that's why I was 